Hey everyone, welcome to my presentation. This presentation is on shear tonometer, which is a type of indentation tonometer that comes under the procedure of indirect tonometry. So, using this tonometer, you can measure the IOP or intraocular pressure of your eye. So, this is measured mainly by measuring the depth produced on the surface of the cornea by a load of a known width. So, it is mainly based on the fact that the plunger will be indenting a soft eye more than a hard eye. So, which means that the more the plunger indents the cornea, higher will be the scale leading and lower will be the IOP. The indentation of corneal surface is indirectly proportional to the IOP. Now, let us go to the parts of shear tonometer. Here you can see the scale. This is the needle which will be pointing towards the region and here is the additional width 7.5 gram and 10 gram. So, in the shear tonometer, you will have initially placed a 5.5 gram width. So, if your reading shows 4 or less than 4, you have to add this additional width. Even after placing the 7.5 gram here in the plunger, so this is the plunger which will be holding the width. Even after placing the 7.5 gram, if your reading is still less than 4, then you have to add 10 gram. So, this is called lever arm where the short arm will be resting over the plunger and the long arm will be acting as the needle. So, now comes the finger rest. So, you can also say it as holder or handle. So, this is where you have to hold the instrument here and this is the foot plate where this is the part where you will be placing this part over the surface of the cornea. Now, let us go to the procedure. So, first is calibration. So, calibration is the main procedure before doing the procedure you have to check or you have to calibrate your instrument if your instrument is having any kind of instrumental error then your IOP will be showing different so you have to calibrate your instrument first so that it shows your IOP correctly or it shows the actual IOP of the patient so you have to there will be one test block where you have to place your foot plate over that test block which is a polished metal and then you have to check if your scale reading is more than 0, 1, 2 or 3 anything then you have to you have to correct it or you have to repair your instrument first or you have to check the instrument and then after repairing your instrument if you find out that they are after calibration you found out that the needle is in zero then it means your instrument is having no error now after that after calibration you have to do serialization of the instrument as you know you will be putting the foot plate over the cornea so there is a huge chances of transferring infection from other person to the another patient so you have to to avoid that you have to sterilize after testing each and every patient so you can sterilize it using spirit or isopropyl alcohol now before pro doing the procedure you have to anesthetize the patient with local anesthetic drugs so you can use 4 percent lignocaine or 0.5 percent paracaine now after a few minutes after few minutes of instilling paracaine or lignocaine or any kind of anesthetic drugs you have to make the patient lie in a bed and then you have to tell the patient to look up at a specific target or you can also ask the patient to raise his thumb and use it as a fixation target then after that you have to separate the patient's eyelid and you have to place the foot plate over the cornea then you have to measure the scale reading now if the scale reading shows 4 or less than 4 then you have to add the 
other widths or those additional width as I told you before the additional widths were 7.5 gram or 10 gram it will be again added to the plunger and then after that you have to repeat the whole procedure again now for converting those gram into the IOP in MMAG we have to use this conversion table so what you will be using is Sweden wall conversion table so I'll show you how to convert it suppose your instrument is have using 5.5 gram and your scale reading shows 5.5 so your scale reading shows 5.5 and you are using 5.5 gram which means you are not adding any additional width so your IOP will be 15.9 mm mercury and suppose you are using additional width means even without putting any additional width your reading is 4 or less than 4 and your reading shows 5.5 then it means you will be using 23.8 will be your IOP 23.8 mm Ag will be your IOP okay now the, what are the advantages so the main advantages is it is usually very portable and it is a simple technique no need of any power supply as you know the other type of tonometry which in includes application tonometry needs slit lamp and slit lamp usually requires power supply so in this tonometry you won't be using any kind of um, power supply and it is not even battery operated so it is a very advantage for this procedure so usually in health camps you can use this instrument for checking IOP of patient and the last is reasonably priced so it is not very expensive as the slit lamp but it is reasonably priced so here I come to the end of the discussion for this presentation I hope you enjoyed my presentation and I hope you got some knowledge about shear sonometry. Thank you for watching my presentation.